Let's dive in to our feature story of the day. Here's the latest from Jan 3's Samson Mao and his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. Let's break her down. This headline reads, I know Bitcoin is going to a million dollars. And there was another headline. Uh, Samson Mao gives reasons why Bitcoin could reach this million dollar target this year in 2024. But let's start right here. And here's the man right here, Samson Mao. Shout out Samson. He's been helping tremendously with Bitcoin adoption on a nation level, working with congressmen and senators in places like uh, Mexico, um, you know, Indira Kempis over in Mexico. That's a senator. Also, I've seen him with the president of Colombia. Colombia has a massive population. I actually have lived in uh, Medellin, Colombia for six months, but I love what he is doing on a nation state adoption level. So you got to respect that because this is what it's all about. Many countries to follow in the footsteps of uh, El Salvador and Bukele and adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. So yeah, here we go. Samson Mao, the renowned Bitcoin maxi and CEO over at Jan3. And I believe the company Jan3 was named actually after uh, the first day uh, Bitcoin went live, uh, the Genesis block, right? I believe it was the white paper was published on October 31st, which is Halloween. And it was Jan3 of 2009 when Bitcoin was first initially launched via the Genesis block, which is pretty gangster in and of itself. But anyways, Mal once again tweeted that he definitely expects Bitcoin to reach $1 million per G unit. Just saying. Samson Mao's well-known maxi for his predictions, reaching a million in the long term, which we all know. This year, Mao doubled down on his prediction, anticipating the fourth Bitcoin halving, which just recently took place in the second half of April. It was on the 19th. We actually ushered in the halving. We did a live halving uh, watch. Let me know if you were tuned in on that. It was pretty lit. And prior to that, when in January, the SEC officially gave the green light to trade the spot Bitcoin ETFs, and these ETFs began to accumulate the biddies like crazy, Every day, Mao stated multiple times that those purchases would eventually create a Bitcoin demand shock. Now, keep in mind, there's a very limited amount of the biddies currently available on the exchanges. And I personally feel we get a legitimate demand shock later this year, like we've never witnessed before. And what do you think is going to happen when there is a limited supply with massive, you know what I mean? Uh, supply, uh, massive buy pressure, I meant to say. With a limited supply, numbers go up. So as for the halving, he said that once the block rewards are cut in half again, it'll create a Bitcoin supply shock. The conclusion, Mal took from this was that once the demand and the supply shocks meet, they will propel the Bitcoin price as high as a million dollars or even higher. Let me know your thoughts on that. And on Monday, he tweeted that he knows for sure the Bitcoin is going to a million dollars. Let me know if you agree with that. However, there are two nuances. He cannot predict for certain when it will happen and how quickly the biddies will skyrocket to that all-time high. So at this point, obviously, pred predictions are speculation. We all know Bitcoin will hit six figures and seven figures, but the million dollar question becomes when? So what are your thoughts on that? And about a week ago, Mao also shared that the Bitcoin coil seems very much compressed now and that the longer the Godzilla candle does not appear, the higher are the odds the Bitcoin will ascend and jump up with the Omega candle. Let's go. And in the comments, he even agreed one night the market may go to sleep with Bitcoin trading at 70 Gs and then wake up to hitting 200,000 per coin, which would be a great example of an Omega candle live and in the flesh. So there you you have it. And we even have uh, Samson, uh, or, or sorry, uh, Santiment uh, Analytics, who recently shared Bitcoin holders have just had their biggest three day drop in non empty wallets since just prior to the March 14th all time high. And unlike then, Bitcoin has been sliding, provoking traders to liquidate for fear of further drops. Meanwhile, Ethereum wallets keep growing in numbers. Now, for this uh, other story, I want to get more in detail on why he believes Bitcoin is likely to hit this million level. And we're going to discuss the Veblen effect, which he often talks about. The Veblen effect is when consumers purchase an item even as the price increases. In this case, Mao opines that investors will continue to invest into biddies regardless of how high this rises. This sustained interest in Bitcoin can also lead to further price surges. The Veblen effect is already in full force as Bitcoin continues to attract new investors. And great point, even if Bitcoin hypothetically right now, family, was 10 million in fiat monopoly money, it's still going to continue to do its thing because there is no second best. Everyone's going to be seeking the apex predator. And in the end, the apex predator wins and everything goes to zero against it. Mao also laid a scenario where Bitcoin gains the gold market cap 
which I believe is probably sitting roughly at 15 trillion. Can someone verify that? He says it'll even surpass it. And when that happens, he stated the people will start demonetizing gold and substituting it for BTC, AKA digital gold, seeing that the crypto token has a better alternative. Uh, facts. While he recognizes some of the investors are already substituting their gold for Bitcoin. You hear that, Peter Shifty? Mao stated it'll happen in mass when Bitcoin flips gold. And I think it was the Winklevoss twins around 2019, correct me if I'm wrong on the year, but they also made the case for a half a million dollar Bitcoin price and their main uh, argument was Bitcoin overtaking the market cap of gold. So by that time, Bitcoin will be at least a half a million per coin, potentially above a million. Time will tell. And although ambitious, Samson Mao's ambitious prediction cannot be discarded, considering he had previously predicted Bitcoin would hit a new all-time high before the halving event. In fact, this was the very first time where we eclipsed the previous all-time high prior to the halving. So unprecedented times we're witnessing, family. So you got to keep that in mind as well. So what are your thoughts regarding all of this? Uh, please do let me know. And if you guys could actually repost the stream, I know you, a lot of you guys are watching on X right now. Again, we have over 2,000 people there. So this is all you got to do. You see where there's a heart? You got to show the love. We have 2,300 people on X right now. And then you just hit the repost button. But I'm going to actually repost it from Samson Mao's account just to show I appreciate him sharing it. So I'm going to go to Samson. And this is live and in the flesh right now. This is his timeline. Make sure you're following Samson Mao. He's great. Omega Candle, send it. You already know, family. Let's moon celebrate. I like that. The name of this uh, wine is called Moon. I might have to cop me a bottle. Hmm. But anyways, he retweeted it. So now I'm retweeting his retweet. This is how we do. It's called paying it forward family. So shout out again, uh, Samson Mao and everyone, let me know your thoughts regarding his $1 million Bitcoin price prediction. And by what year do you think this will turn into fruition? 2024, 2025, 2026, 789, 2030, holla. And welcome to the Q&A segment of the live show. We're only halfway done. We're going to be streaming for the next hour. I appreciate y'all. We have over 2,500 people already collectively on the stream. Y'all are the bomb diggity. If everyone reposts this right now, just like I showed you how to do, we'll blow it up. We'll have over 5,000 people on the stream. We appreciate that. Bitcoin miners are in a correction uh, started last week, which will go much lower for the next few days, being overbought compared to the low Bitcoin prices near the lows. I appreciate you sharing there, Michael Anthony. With 1 million within two years, the risk for the violent chaos in the fiat world would be high. We do not need that. They not like us. They not like us. Amen, family. Let me know if you guys agree. That would be awesome. One million dollar party. Yeah, if we're going to do a six figure party, we got to do the seven figure party, but the seven figure party needs to be 10 X as lit as the six figure party. It has to. That's just how it is, family. So you already know. Now, how many of you realistically are going to be celebrating here in Puerto Rico with me when we hit 100,000? I want to know who's going to be there with me. Let me know, family. Don't be shy. 2300 on X. I love it. Maybe the ASI merger will trigger a bounce back. Bounce, bounce. Come on, bounce. 